Hey, look, it's a Jeep motor. How do you playing with the Jeep? Battery cover's falling off the camera. For a few hours. Let's see, what have I done? Got all the lights fixed. Most of them. The lights are still well, not as bad as they used to be. They're still kind of wonky. I'll have to figure out what's wrong with that. Missing something inside there. A little bit of a redneck fix to get the turn signal lens back in. Take you one of the biggest cosmetic changes. Oh, the fender's on. Adjusted so it opens right, or excuse me, so it uh, sits right. I was having a problem with the door. You can kind of see a little bit of a dent there, scraping up along there. But, uh, looks like it's got the same amount of clearance as the other side. Couple of bolts are busted off, so I had to replace those, but no big deal. Finger flare is pretty secure. Let's see, what else? Got the tail light working. That one was out. And right now I'm bleeding the brakes. Fender took me the longest. Take it off a few times, put it back on. No big deal. Easy work. So everything looks pretty good on this side. First one I started on. The conduit for the shock boot was missing, so replace that. Whoopty friggin' do. Rancho shocks looks like. See if I can swing around here and get some good light. Lots of pad left. Both sides. Rotors look pretty good. No uh, no play. But uh, that's the update so far. Fluid came out pretty dark, pretty black. Notice the pedal would kind of uh, bleed down over a little time. So, putting fresh fluid in. Let's see, let's go over the list real quick. Made a video of the list of things that I wanted and needed to get done with this thing. So, can't see the top one there, it says uh, right brake light is out. Fix the front turn signals, got them working. Headlights, haven't quite figured those out yet, so we'll leave that off on the list. Uh, working on bleeding the brakes. Did an oil change and filter the other day. Awfully black coming out, real thick, so I don't know what weight was in this thing before. Haven't done any other fluid changes. Uh, got the fender put on. There's proof. Working on doing the interior, maybe later tonight. Uh, right side mirror, haven't done that yet. Uh, left window crank, I did a cheesy fix on that. There it is. All I did was take the one from that side. The old one is right there. They just pop off. No big deal. So, sometime I'll grab a replacement. Uh, let's see, where did this go? So actually, I could probably cross that window crank off. Get closer so you can read it. Uh, oil sending unit. Hey, didn't when I did the oil change, put 1030 in, and the light doesn't come on anymore. So, I get fixed itself. Muffler. Muffler came in earlier this week. There it is. Just got the one clamp hanging in right now. I'm going to try to get the... Uh, Fresh the tubing put in. Got to do some uh, modifications to that and make it fit. But there is a muffler on it now. Sometime I'll show you what it sounds like. It doesn't make much difference. Unless you were running without the cat, it uh, sounds about the same. Uh, transfer case linkage. I haven't got to that yet. Put the drive line in on the front. Haven't done that yet. Seatbelt replacement. Got to hit a junkyard. Wiper blades. Not in a big rush to do those. And mount the front license plate. I may just do that one tonight, too. So anyway, that's uh, where I'm at right now. Oh, and a uh, little hold open dealy bob there was making a lot of noise. Thought it was broken, but I never really looked at it. So uh, on closer inspection, I just tightened up the bolts. It used to creak and groan and pop. Now it's nice and quiet. 
but we're getting closer, piecing this thing back together. It's been a fun little project. $450. I think all total what I've had to dump into this is a couple of bucks for some fittings for the transmission. Everything else I've had, I'm not going to count all the different little tools I've picked up because I'll be using those on different projects as well. Eh, one thing I'd like to do, I don't know how well it shows up there with the flashlight on the other side, replace the speakers. Got a nice head unit in there, so maybe we'll just upgrade the speakers. Two in the doors, two in the back here. Maybe even do a little subwoofer in the back area. Not that you can see anything back there, it's all dark. So anyway, that's what I'm up to. Three more wheels to bleed. Maybe even take it for another spin around the block just to see if the brakes are any better. Oh, adjusted the parking brake too. Got that working. Actually holds the vehicle, at least in the driveway. Or in the garage, excuse me. My garage has a slope to it, so it'll, the vehicle will roll if you leave it neutral. So in a little bit, we'll try it in the driveway. Anyway, that's it for now. Bye-bye.